Alrighty guys, haven't posted here in a while. Um, but I just wanted to go over how I deleted the LSPV, the load sensing proportioning valve out of this truck. It, um, it made such a difference in braking. Um, I definitely recommend it to everyone who owns a, uh, a first gen Tundra or you know, a first gen Tacoma or any older Toyota that has one. Um, you know, they run about $300 for an OEM one and um, you, know, you can get a, a Willwood manual proportioning valve for roughly $50. Um, it, it definitely um, you know, improved the, uh, the braking. Uh, power in this truck. I don't think the original um, proportioning valve is working anymore. Um, I'll cut in some pictures here of it um, just to show you how rusty it actually was. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show you here what I did. So in the back where the original valve sat, um, I just unbolted it. it it bolts up to the uh the shock tower um in the rear here and um i just made a little bracket to um install the the willwood valve on um i ran new lines too because the old lines were just completely destroyed but um you, you get rid of the uh return line that goes back up to the master and you just run your original uh line in from the master and then I also ran the outside of the original valve um, a new line there too to where it comes down into the rear axle um, but yeah that's the only two lines you need you just need your incoming and your outgoing and um, you know the knob obviously controls the pressure um, I have mine set about halfway and it's been it's been feeling great so far Let's give you a shot here of everything. And then your incoming line just runs right up along the, um, the frame rail. I'll actually show you where everything connects. So we're up here. And that top line it goes to the top line on the original valve and this bottom line's the return so this comes back up to the master as well so in the engine bay here typically you'd have your return line that comes up on the bottom here I just cut that um, that's not you don't need that anymore like I said and then on that T I just put a, uh, a plug in here um, that's where your return line came um, that's bit pretty much all you need to do in here. You could also do a, um, a Toyota specific bleeder screw um, but that um, that fitting needs to be an M10 by a 1.0 pitch um, which is kind of a pain to find. Um, a lot of parts stores won't have it um, but uh, yeah I ordered mine on Amazon actually so I'll leave links to uh, to that and um, everything else I ordered below um, definitely an improvement um, in braking I'm sure it, it's uh, it's the same for all Toyotas um, but yeah it'll it'll help a lot once I get the uh, the weight of the camper in there but that is all for today hope to post some some camper updates soon um, thanks for watching guys